This segment is about the nitrate test and your nitrate strips are going to be the aqua check strips in the white cylinder container. It is very important to keep the lid on this and tight and keep it at room temperature along with all the other reagents. But this one just seems to kind of uh, change colors um, with any sort of little bit of moisture. So always keep the lid on it whenever you're not using the strips. This is what a good test strip should look like as soon as you pull it out of the bottle. The very bottom pad should be very, very white. The very end pad that's on the end of the strip should be kind of a beige off white color. If there's any sort of pink to any, either of the pads, just throw them away because they're not going to measure the creek water at all if they already have a tinge of pink to them. So what you need to do, and you will follow the instructions that are on the bottle, get out one of the plastic test tubes like from the pH test. You'll rinse this out three times with deionized water. And then rinse it out three times with the creek water. And then fill it up about three-fourths full. Pretty much what you're going to do is this is going to be a small vessel to swirl the test strips around in, so it really doesn't matter exactly how much your water you're putting in here. Just, I usually say about three-fourths full with the creek water. And then what you're going to do is take out one of the test strips from the bottle. Again, putting the lid back on it pretty quickly. And just hang on to the test strip. Don't ever lay it down because contamination that is on here, it's only going to take a total of a minute for this to develop, so it's not going to be long at all. What you're going to do, I'll go ahead and take off my watch here and set it down on the table so I can watch my time. So I'm going to put this strip in here, swirl around about two or three times, and then pull it out and hang on to it. So we're timing this for um, 30 seconds. That is going to be on the strip on the pad that's closest to my hand down here. So that bottom pad is going to develop in 30 seconds. The end pad is going to develop in another 30 seconds, so a total of one minute. And the color splotches are on the container right here. So the bottom rectangle is going to correspond with the nitrite. That's the one that's going to develop first in 30 seconds. The top rectangle is the nitrate, and that's going to develop in a total of one minute. So I'm going to watch my clock. I swirl it around three or four times and hang on to it. And I'm going to wait for about a minute or 30 seconds for the nitrite. And we're already starting to get a little bit of coloration that's going on. So that's about 30 seconds. So I'm going to look at the bottom pad with the bottom rectangle of colors and that's something between a 0.3 and a 0.15. So I'd probably say pretty close to a 0.3 so it might be a 0.28 for the nitrite. And the nitrate, so it has been a minute. So the nitrate is going to be the very end pad with the top colors and that's probably going to correspond pretty closely to a 2. 2 milligrams per liter, it might be a 3, it might be a little bit more pink than that. So as far as this creek test, we have a 0.2, maybe 0.3 for the nitrite and a 2 milligrams per liter for the nitrate. And of course, that's going to be your first creek water test. So you would need to do the exact same procedure and test the creek again for our repeatability. And repeatability on this should be very, very close. Like within 0.2 for the nitrite and within one or two for the nitrate, you need to have repeatability. So I'm dumping, swirling, I'm timing. So I'm waiting 30 seconds for the nitrite. 
Again, hanging on to the strip. Don't ever put it down on the table or anything. So we do have a little bit of nutrients that's in this creek water sample. So again, we're going to take our readings. That bottom pad, it's been 30 seconds. That's probably a little bit closer to the 0.15. So the nitrite is probably about 0 0.15, 0 0.2, something below 0.3. So we do have our, our repeatability on that. Got about 10 more seconds for the nitrate. Three, two, and one. So reading the nitrate, looks still about a two, two, maybe a three. So somewhere around two for the nitrate. So we got our repeatability.